Two former Oakland police chiefs say the federal monitor overseeing the department should be fired. KPI X5's Dal Lin on why they believe the oversight in an, is an expensive boondoggle. Two former chiefs say the federal monitor is in it for the money and it's time for him to go. I came to wonder who is monitoring the monitor. Former Chief Ann Kirkpatrick blasted federal monitor Robert Warshaw, saying he has no interest in getting the Oakland Police Department out of federal oversight because he benefits from it. The city pays Warshaw's firm roughly $1.2 million a year to oversee the department. It's the result of a settlement from the Riders' police misconduct lawsuit. The oversight has dragged on since 2003 and cost taxpayers about $28 million. There have been 10 chiefs, four mayors, two judges, two monitoring teams. Something's wrong. The former chief says she started questioning the federal monitor's intention last year, but couldn't speak out because he could fire her. Last month, the citizen-led police commission and the mayor did fire her. Kirkpatrick says she will sue the city over her firing. But more importantly, she says she owes it to Oakland residents to speak out about Warshaw. Your officers are spending more time on administrative tasks than they are able to be out there and fighting crime. It was very difficult to be in compliance and also fight crime. We had more people in, in internal affairs than we had in homicide. Retired Chief Howard Jordan hopes federal authorities will fire the monitor. But civil rights attorney Jim Channing says Warshaw is not the problem. He says the police department was so close to full compliance, just three items left. But under Kirkpatrick's leadership, a federal judge added five more tasks. Now that she's been terminated, she's doing sour grapes about the monitor and the police commission and all the rest. She's blaming everyone but herself. I'm Don Lane, KPIX5. Councilman Gallo says he and other members will soon debate whether to make changes to the citizen-run police commission. He believes the city council, not the commissioners, should have the final word on firing a police chief.